Hi everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If you're new to my channel, I'm a full-time seller on eBay and on Etsy. I do thrift store ride-alongs, thrift store hauls, including clothing and jewelry. I love doing jewelry jar unjarrings or jewelry unboxings. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a thread up denim box. It's a DIY rescue box that thread up offers. It's 20 pounds, I paid $20, and I had a coupon for free shipping. So I'm about to open a box of denim. Condition is unpromised, and I wanna see if there's anything in there that I can resell or wear myself. And we're just gonna dive right in and get started. Okay, everybody, do you see this box right here? Do you see that pile of denim right there? Well. I just unboxed this whole box of DIY denim and I checked the video to make sure everything came out okay after I was finished. And I had red lipstick all across my teeth the whole time. <laughs> oh, so I'm sorry, but uh, that was uh, not acceptable. I am going to do this again and I'm going to show you everything that was in the box but it's all beside me and I'm just going to go through one by one right now the first item is this pair of shorts it's their gap maternity shorts and I may or may not list those I'm not sure yet so let's put those aside <laughs> boy oh boy the life of a youtuber um, next is this jean jacket from Old Navy, and it's in very good shape, actually. I think I am going to try to resell this. Oh, and along the way, um, I'm going to put on the screen what I think I might sell something for, and uh, the size on this is a size medium. Okay. Next is a black pair of jeggings from PacSun, uh, a size 25. They are the PacSun jeggings and they're destroyed. So that means they have a lot of holes in them and that's not necessarily a bad thing for resale. So not so sure about PacSun, but I will put these aside and consider listing them. Next is a pair of American Eagle, size 12 cutoff shorts. So, and they're stretched, they're super stretched. So I think that I will put those in the resale pile. Oh, this is a cute top. This is a denim snap front shirt by Lucky Brand. It's got snaps on the front and on the cuffs. Or, yeah, on the cuffs. And here's the label. And I think um, I'll be able to list this on eBay for sure. The next pair that was in the box, oh, this is a pair of Banana Republic jeans. They have some distressing on the front and in the back. And they are straight legs. They're women's size eight. And I will put those in the uh, resale pile. I'm gonna try to list those. The next pair of jeans, uh, these are the Levi 511 jeans. And I have, I just recently sold a pair of these in my eBay store. And they're in very good shape. It's a dark wash, some distressing on it. And let's see, I forgot the size on these. The size, they're 32, 34. So I'm gonna put those in a pile to list. All right, this is a pair of jeans from Refuge size zero and i am not quite sure who sells refuge they're quite distressed and they are skinnies i i can't remember if this is a kohl's brand or exactly who sells this i'm gonna put those in the probably not pile next is a pair of hollister orange denim and the fabric also it's it's orange but Hoping you can see that it also has like a red, not really tie dye, but uh, some red mixed up with that. Um, they're, they're skinnies and I am going to see if I can 
sell these. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, this is a pair of glow jeans. <clears throat> and they're flares. And what was the size on these? This is a size uh, five juniors. And these are probably no's for me. And again, I can't remember who sells these. It might be Kohl's. Uh, but I think they're not uh, a good resale, thing, resale item for me. This cute little pair of khakis from The Gap. They're toddler. And they're Gap Chino Original Varsity Style. And they're a size 2 toddler. And I probably will not resell these. I'm going to put uh, resell these. <laughs> I'm going to put those in the no pile for now. Here's a pair of... <clears throat> jeans from Express. These are the curvy X2 jeans. They have some stretch to, to them. They look to be flare or boot cut. And I'm this is a not sure uh, item. I'm not sure if this is a worthwhile item to list and I will check further into those. Let's see this pair here. This is a pair of old navy boot cut jeans. And the size on this pair is a 10 short. They are in very good shape. And I think I probably will not relist these. I will look into it because of the size being 10 short. Sometimes those odd, more odd sizes, they're harder for buyers to find. So if it's the case where I, I see that uh, there's a more of a demand because of the size and uh, less supply. I will consider listing those, but probably not right now. Okay, check this pair of jeans out. This is, at first I wasn't sure what one was. They're called Super Trackies, and they're made by one teaspoon. They're called Elastic Waist, Low Waist, Long Rise Jeans. They are Elastic Waist with a tie and look at the bottoms they're also elastic now one teaspoon is a fabulous brand to find in fact i've never found them when i'm sourcing out at thrift stores um here's the back but i'm hoping that this particular style is sought after i would love to resell them for a great profit we'll see what these bring that's pretty cool i've never found these before the next pair of jeans i have here are silver jeans and they're Sukis and the size was a 32 33 these these have flat pockets on them and I've sold a lot of Suki jeans before silver jeans in the Suki style they're boot cut and I do plan to relist these and there was another pair of Sukis that were in the box same size. These are also the Sukis. These are the thick stitch, and I think there might be a, um, more of a demand for this particular style as opposed to the flat pockets I just showed you. But they're in really good shape, and I'm definitely putting those in the cell pile. Okay, this pair of jeans, these are Levi's. And they're perfectly slimming 512 straight leg jeans. These are women's jeans. And let's see, what size were these? Uh, these are a size 12 medium. 31 waist and a 32 length. Really good shape. They're dark wash. I do plan to list these. And looks like a boot cut. So not a bad box at all so far. I've got plenty that I can sell, and I'll do a recap at the very end um, to see, you know, how many items were in the box total and how many I plan to list or to donate, and to donate, I should say. Okay, this is a pair of jeans from Forever 21, and this is a pair I most likely will not list just because I don't think the resale value is very high. It's a size 28. They are super skinny jeans, and they're very stretchy. Very, very lightweight, too. So I'm putting those in the no pile. 
The next pair of jeans that I found were these white capri length page jeans. Here's the label. And these were, the style name are Roxy Capri. That was a quick pause there because there was a loud plane flying overhead. Uh, this is a pair of Roxy Capri jeans from Paige. And so I have to look up that particular style to see if it's sought after. Some Paige jeans are and some are not. So fingers crossed on these. I'm gonna put those in the cell pile for right now. The next pair of jeans are the Seven for All Mankind jeans. They have some bling on the back of them. And let's see, what were the details on these? Uh, size 31. And if, uh, if I find a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans out, you know, when I'm sourcing, I have to look up the styles to decide if I want to buy because they're hit and miss unless you find a pair of dojos. Those are ones that you always are happy to find when you're out thrifting. But um, I am not sure about these. These are in the maybe pile. I have to see if there might be a, a you know, worthwhile listing those. So that's it. That's the whole entire box. And I am going to do a recap for you. Let me go get my list out. I'll be right back. And I'm gonna do a lipstick check too. <laughs> okay, no lipstick, check that box. I did a recap of the box and the box had 20 items altogether. And out of the 20, six of them I am going to donate. I'm not interested in listing. That leaves 14 and out of those 14, I am definitely going to list 10 and the other four, I still have to see. I'm gonna look, look uh, items up on the internet and see what the resale may or may not be, if it's worthwhile or not. I'm really pleased with the contents of this particular box. I'm especially hopeful for that one pair, the one teaspoon, uh, to see if I can get uh, a nice profit from those. But I'd like to hear what you think. Leave me some comments uh, and tell me what you thought of this box. Tell me if you've ever uh, tried one of these DIY denim boxes from ThreadUp. If you like these kinds of videos and you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone that you think might like it. It helps me to grow my channel and I appreciate the time that you spent watching the video today and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.